Rose is shown entertaining Tyrion Lannister shortly after his arrival at Winterfell. She informs Tyrion that the whorehouse was especially alerted to his imminent arrival, though by whom is not revealed. The two of them are interrupted by Tyrion's brother, Jaime, who tells Tyrion, a man of limited height but with immense appetites, that he will be needed at the feast that night. Jaime has hired three more prostitutes for Tyrion, to hurry things along. When Tyrion is returning from the wall, he stops at Winterfell. Believing the Lannisters are responsible for Bran's fall, Rob denies him Winterfell's hospitality. Tyrion decides to stay in a brothel and as he is leaving, Theon Greyjoy recommends Rose to Tyrion, unaware that Tyrion is already acquainted with her. Tyrion promises not to wear her out. At Castle Black, Jon Snow and his friend Samwell Tarly talk about having never been with a woman. Jon says that he once had the opportunity to have sex with Rose. He describes her to Sam as young and gorgeous. John ultimately declined to have sex with Rose fearing he might father bastard children of his own, as being a bastard himself he would have nothing to offer them. Theon sneaks Rose into his chambers, where they both undress and have sex. He notices that she is wearing a Lannister lion pendant and she tells him that it was a gift from Tyrion. Theon becomes angry when she insinuates that Tyrion is a superior lover and that his family's honor is suspect due to the failed Greyjoy rebellion. When he refuses to pay for the encounter, Rose suggests that he gets a wife instead, infuriating Theon further. However, Theon's anger with Rose does not last, and is surprised to see her sitting in the back of a turnip cart. She tells him she has decided to leave the winter town to seek out employment in King's Landing and is planning to board a boat out of White Harbor. He unsuccessfully tries to persuade her to stay, but she points out that, with war coming, all the men will be marching away and there is nothing for her here while sarcastically asking Theon if he would be willing to marry her and make her Lady of the Iron Islands if she stayed. Though Theon denies it, his face implies that he has grown to love her. Theon throws her a coin, and she laughs and lifts up her skirt one last time. Theon calls out that he'll miss her, and she agrees that he will. Arriving in King's Landing, Rose finds employment at a brothel owned by Littlefinger. He tutors her and another prostitute, Armeka, in the art of seduction. Rose learns that Littlefinger is infatuated with a woman who was betrothed to a man who injured him in a duel, and this woman later married the man's brother. However, it does not appear that she recognizes the woman in the story as Lady Caitlin Stark. Rose's services are employed by Grand Maester Pycelle in King's Landing. As she gathers her clothes to leave, Pycelle begins to tell her about all the kings he has served, including Aerys II Targaryen, Robert I Baratheon, and blesses the reign of the present monarch, Joffrey I. Baratheon. Eventually, his ramblings fade and she becomes impatient, questioning him about the original point of his speech. She leaves, frustrated, rebuffing his offer to escort her. 